Hey guys, so let me start by saying I have a ton of tips I wanna share with you guys that I have learned since becoming a mom to my daughter, Everly Jolie. There are so many things that I learned along the way that of course you can only learn by experiencing, but I wanted to start sharing some of the things that really worked for us and some of the things that didn't. So if you are a new mom or about to be a new mom or thinking about becoming a new mom in the future, you have a go-to place to get all those tips and feedback. I wish I had had a place, but I had a lot of great friends who guided me and some things worked, some things didn't. So for this first video in this series, which is either gonna be Nursery Diaries or Mom Life Monday. What do you guys think? Nursery Diaries or Mom Life Monday? I wanna give you my top five newborn must-haves. Now, I have a lot of must-haves throughout like kind of each section that I've experienced and it was really hard for me to choose and Darren and I were kind of like talking about what the top five were because I probably have 10, but we're gonna start with five for the newborn phase. Number one, the snoo swaddle. Now, my daughter, hated the snoo itself. I know there's a lot of people out there that it works for. It's amazing. I We used it just as a bassinet because it did not work for her. As like a lot of things, every baby is different, every experience is gonna be different, so it's not, it's never a one size fits all type of deal. But what she did love is the snoo, swaddle. And what's so great about it is that it, a lot of swaddles, now we use the Tula blankets a lot. These are great swaddles if you don't want to get this new swaddle. Right now, we've been using these, I mean, we have so many of them. They're so great as blankets. You can use them as burp cloths. You can use them to swaddle. You can use them really for anything. We always have this. We use them over the stroller. It's just, that is definitely a must have is the Tula blankets, but the snoo swaddle, what's so great about it is if you use a regular swaddle, you have to be a pro swaddler. You have to really learn how to do it to keep them tight and keep them safe, secure and feeling great. This has a zipper. This has a zipper and then this has, you put her inside and it has Velcro. So you, you, you secure her arms down or his arms down and you Velcro it super tight. So they're really, really secure and in there and then you zip them up. Now, what is amazing about this is a couple of things. Number one, they don't get out of it, which at the newborn stage, they're not really gonna get out of it at that point yet, but it stays secure, they stay safe for the entire night, they are so happy, and it really helps them sleep. I got, we got very lucky with a good sleeper, I'll share that in a later video, but um, it really helped. I attribute a lot of her sleeping well to this, and I really, really, really hope that they sell it separately. I don't know, but I'm hoping that they sell it individually and you don't have to buy this new with it, because again, maybe it'll work for you and people swear by it, but for us it did not. The other great thing about this is it's ventilated, so if your baby runs hot, it'll keep him or her cool, and if you need to do a diaper change, there's so there's two, it zips from the top, but it also zips from the bottom. So all you have to do when you have a diaper change is unzip the bottom so you don't have to take them out and get them, you know, unwake them up or get them cold. You unzip the bottom, pop the feet out, change the diaper, zip them back up, and they are good to go. This is a highly, 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 highly recommended thing for a newborn. Number two, a, a boppy pillow, which is right here, um, is great, we use them. But what was even more amazing is this BB Hug Me. I forget, I know they sent it to me. I don't, I guess the brand is BB Hug Me. And what it is, is it's a pregnancy pillow. So, <laughs> so really it's one long pregnancy pillow. But what Darren did was he tied it together like this at the top. And we both would put it over us for feedings. And it's so comfortable, and the reason I liked it better than the Bobby was because it also, my back was killing me from the weight of my boobs, from hunching over, breastfeeding, holding the baby all the time. And it gives you support on your back, which the Bobby just goes around your front and doesn't have any back support. So this always had support. It's super, super comfortable. She could sleep. You could just kind of mold it to your body. Darren used it, I used it, and it, is amazing. It's not meant for this, it's not like a boppy pillow, but we got creative and we did it and so it was like a two in one. So if you're pregnant and you need a pregnancy pillow, get this and use it during your pregnancy and then postpartum, you can tie it up like we did and use it as like a um, breastfeeding support. 
pillow. And then like she would fall asleep on here and you could also, I wouldn't recommend walking with it because it's very big, but it's just super comfortable and it really came in handy. So this was definitely another must have. Number three is the Fisher Price swing. Everly loved this swing. It would always soothe her, calm her down, allow me to get things done. It plays music that will you will dream about, it will be in your head, you will wake up in the middle of the night and it will be in your head, but it's soothing. And then as she got a little bit older, there's a mirror on top and once they start to realize that they can see themselves, they think it's another baby, I guess, looking back at them, but it was so cute to watch her just in there swinging, staring up, looking at herself, smiling, making faces. It's so cute. I highly recommend this Fisher Price swing. Number four, the Dockatot. This is definitely a must have. If you're planning on co-sleeping, for the first couple of weeks, we put her in between us in the dock tot It is super safe. Obviously, you wanna make sure there's nothing else around that could fall on the baby or whatever, and you know, do your research and make sure that that's right for you. But we used it for co-sleeping in the beginning. We still use it to this day. She loves it. It's also great if you wanna kinda of carry it from room to room in the beginning and just like put her on the couch or put, him, put your baby on the couch next to you or on the table, wherever it is that you want the dock tot is portable, it's easy, it's secure, and it's great for them at this stage. Number five, the base diaper bag. First of all, <laughs> how cute is it? It came out with this after Everly was born. I wish I had this from the beginning, and the reason I can appreciate it so much is because I know what I was using versus what I have now, and so I can appreciate it that much more. So if you're a new mom, I highly recommend get this diaper bag. It comes in black and beige. And literally, like, it's great. Shay Mitchell designed it, of course. She's the owner of Base. And of course, it's so obvious that this bag was designed by a new mom because she thought of everything. There's a compartment for everything, and it's so convenient. There is a compartment for your bottles. There's a compartment for dirty diapers, clean diapers, changing pads. It even comes with a cute little pouch for the pacifiers. I call them sisses because I'm Canadian. I don't know if it's a Canadian thing or a, or a Montreal thing. It's so convenient because I was in the beginning using Ziploc bags. So how much better is it to have this? A teething ring, which is a food grade silicone. So that's great for when they start teething. I mean, she literally thought of everything. This is the best bag and it's so chic. It looks so cute. You, no one would ever think it's a diaper bag. It comes with a changing pad. I mean, you can wear it multiple ways. It even has a section for your laptop. So if you're a working mom, mom on the go, if it's your laptop. And then of course, like the other thing that I found with my other diaper bags was like, I didn't have me space. So I had space for her stuff, but then I was always carrying around my purse on top of it. So it was like this giant diaper bag and then my giant big purse. This has a compartment for everything, including your stuff as a mom. So I'm a huge fan of this and I really think that if you're a new mom, get the bag. So those are my top five. I probably, like I said, have 10. This is like zero to four weeks and I'm gonna keep going with the, the things that I've loved that have worked for us. What's worked for you? What did you love when your baby was like first, first born or things that you wish that you, you didn't know that you wish people would have told you before you brought your baby home? So let me know.